France's parliament calls to allow Ukraine to attack Russia. Jean-Louis Boulange, chairman of the French Parliament's Foreign Affairs Committee, called on Paris to lift the taboo on Ukraine's strikes on Russian territory with French weapons. According to Le Figaro, Boulange wrote a letter to the French leadership calling for the abandonment of restraint and a decision following the example of Britain, which allowed Ukrainian troops to use its weapons against Russia. The time seems to have come. The right to self-defense excludes the right to inviolability of the aggressor's territory, he emphasized, adding that the change in the doctrine would put an end to the asymmetry between the aggressor and the victim. At the same time, Boulange emphasized that neither France nor other Western partners of Ukraine want to go to war with Russia. Therefore, it is not about them intervening in the theater of war, but about removing an unjustified taboo, he wrote in his letter. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion, Ukraine has been restricted in its right to use weapons received from Western countries to strike Russian territory. Usually, this restriction was explained in the West by the fact that they were giving Ukraine weapons to defend itself against Russia, not attacking it. This year, however, there have been some developments in this regard. For example, after his visit to Kyiv, British Foreign Secretary David Cameron said that Ukraine has the right to strike at Russian territory with British weapons. At the same time, the United States still adheres to its policy of restricting Ukraine's strikes against Russia. However, during a visit to Kyiv in May, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that Ukraine chooses how to wage war, but the US does not encourage strikes against Russia. This does not mean bombing Russia. Estonia called for sending NATO troops to Ukraine. According to Estonian Prime Minister Kai Kalas, NATO countries should not be afraid that sending troops to Ukraine to train Ukrainian armed forces, soldiers, could drag the alliance into a war with Russia. She told the Financial Times that there are countries that are already training soldiers on the ground, and they were doing so at their own peril. The Prime Minister is convinced that if the occupiers attack training personnel, this will not automatically trigger NATO's Article 5 on mutual defence. I can't imagine that if someone gets hurt there, those who sent their people will say, this is Article 5, let's bomb Russia. That's not true, it's not automatic. Therefore, these fears are unfounded. If you send your people to help the Ukrainians, you know that there is a war in the country and you are going into a risk zone. Therefore, you are taking a risk, explained Kalas. As noted, Ukraine needs to recruit and train hundreds of thousands of military personnel in the coming months. It would be more efficient to do this on the territory of our country and not transport soldiers and weapons to Poland or Germany and back. European leaders have begun to change their position as Russian troops outgun and outnumber the defense forces and Ukraine is finding it difficult to maintain its defensive lines. General Chuck Brown, chairman of the US Joint Chiefs of Staff, suggested that the Europeans will eventually get more troops into Ukraine. Russian propaganda is aimed at war with NATO, so they don't need excuses. Whatever we do on our side, if they want to attack, they will attack, Kalas emphasized. Estonia is known to be one of Ukraine's strongest supporters and Kyiv's largest military donor when measured as a share of gross domestic product. The country's prime minister noted that Ukrainian allies do not have a common goal. Some like Estonia, want victory for the Ukrainian armed forces, but others are focused on ensuring that Ukraine does not lose. If you don't have a goal, you don't have a strategy. You don't have tactics on how to achieve that goal. And that's what worries me. Some people say Ukrainians shouldn't lose. Others say we should work for Ukraine and victory. But this is not the same thing. We may only have a goal, victory, but Ukraine will determine what kind of victory this is. Kalas concluded, recently the New York Times published an article stating that NATO allies are getting closer to sending military personnel to Ukraine to train Ukrainian troops.